Welcome to ProStitcher Designer Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg. I'd like to show you how to do text on path. This is a fun way to set up and use text designs in your quilting. Let's start by opening a new design page. Just a refresher, go to the Home tab, click on New, and you'll have a brand new, clean, fresh design page to get started on. Next, let's select the Tools tab. Then let's select Text from the Create section here. My cursor now has a little A attached to it. If I just click anywhere on my design page, it will drop a text box and it says text in the box. So I know that's what I'm working with. Let's put a fun phrase in there. How about pro stitcher designer rocks? Because of course it does. And let's come down here and click on Apply. My text is all now available here on my design page. Next, I want to draw a path for this design to, for my text to be on a path. So let's select the Curve tool from the Draw section here. And I'll just start clicking to do some interesting curves. I wanna make it about the same length as my design here. And when you get done drawing, just do a right click or hit enter on your keyboard to finish drawing. Now let's look over here in our sequence view box. So I have all of my items. Let's click the plus so I can see the two items that I have here. I have both text and I have my path or artwork right here. I want to select both of them to put my uh, words on that path. So let's just click on all items right here. It will select both items and then do a right click. I have this option right here which says text on path and it will put my text on that path. How fun is that? Next, let's play with some of the fun options we have here. We can grab either this black diamond or this black diamond here at the end to adjust our design slightly. So look at that, it's kind of fun how it crawls along the edge of my path that I've created there. I can also grab my circle here and rotate on my center axis. So if I wanted to do that at a fun angle, it really, it just makes it fun to play with. Don't forget that you can also change the kerning or the spacing between each one by selecting one of the blue diamonds and just moving it and you can see it put a nice space in there. You can always select the undo button to change it back to the way it was. You can also just have fun playing with all those options there. You can see all my different options that I have there. So now that I've shown you some fun ways how to put your text on path, have fun with it. Come up with something fun for your next great quilting design.